found a Korean food truck. Look who we found. This is insane. That's the not so glamorous side of travel. We're staying in Casa Tranquila. These cats I always wanted to pet. Every bit as good as I remember. Why do I need this stuff? She's <laughs> a really bad patient. We're still gonna go and have some fun. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? We found a Korean food truck in Playa del Carmen. We gotta try it. Ooh, those are really good. This is nice to have something different. 80 pesos, four bucks. This is pretty good. Provecho, amor. Hmm? Provecho, amor. Buon provecho, my love. This little place is nestled right behind the municipal market. What a great little find. It's delicious. While wandering around Playa del Carmen, we were shocked to see the wild capybara. Okay. That looks just like And then we also saw some wild javelina. And there's a javelina just running around, chewing on plastic bags. And then we noticed the fenced enclosure. They weren't all that wild after all. Look who we found in Mexico. <laughs> the last time we saw these guys was in the Philippines. How you guys doing? Here. Trying to eat while I film you? Yeah. Right now. That is idea. It's awesome to see these guys and we all really want to eat, so plates. Well, Playa del Carmen was great, but we're off to the ferry. Fifth Avenue, Quinta Avenida, and Playa del Carmen is pretty much same as always, a little less busy, but uh, it's definitely busy enough. Really good places to eat around Playa still. Yeah. Bunch of little taquerias and stuff. We pretty much eat off of the main tourist drags. We ate at that chicken place every day. <laughs> it was really good. Yeah, that was great and cheap. A nice, cheap, and wonderful meal. Now we're off to catch the ferry to Cozumel. Okay, I've noticed one real benefit of walking around with a camera, guys is that while the people trying to sell legitimate tours continue to talk to you, the massive amount of people trying to sell me drugs don't approach while I have the camera on, <laughs> which is kind of nice. So I might just leave it on and walk through here and get one last run through the gauntlet. But anyways. We're an hour early for the ferry, and the line is like this to catch the ferry that's an hour from now. The line over there still getting on the ferry is the one that was supposed to leave like 10 minutes ago. This is insane! Good Lord, we never travel on weekends, and this is the reason. And we will try never to do it again. <laughs> Kate asked if I wanted to buy the tickets in advance a couple days ago and I was like, oh no, we'll just go on and get them. We show up an hour early. Good Lord, we almost made it two hours early for the next one. It was so packed. Yeah, we were we were only like the sixth from the end. <laughs> <laughs> next up, Kusumez. <laughs> Rough seas, screaming kids, Katie's seasick. The not so glamorous side of travel. Welcome back to the island of Cozumel. We stayed here a couple years ago and it's just as lovely as it was then. This is a really cute place. We're upstairs this time. Oh, microwave and a toaster oven. Oh, we're in luxury. 
treasury. Wow, we've got a little bit of everything. I like this place. I love this carpet. And we have a window. And, oh, get bathroom. Oh, lots of light. Oh, wow, that's gonna be nice. Place to put all your stuff. And now for the bed check. Oh, that's comfy. Yeah, that'll be really nice. Oh, and the, one of the best parts, well, I love sleeping with a fan and it's got a fan in here. Because as some of you know, when you sleep with the AC on, you wake up in the morning with a sore throat. Yeah. Now we're just gonna shower and go do some grocery shopping. Another amazing part about life on a tropical island is sometimes friends just give you bananas off the tree in their front yard. For our time in Cozumel, we're staying at Casa Tranquila. There's on-street parking and a very secure front gate. There's an adorable courtyard downstairs and a sun deck up top. And one of these cats I always wanted to pet. Hi, sweetie. He feels so crazy. <laughs> so sweet. Oh, big purr. <laughs> a hairless cat. One that I'm not allergic to. <laughs> You can find it on Airbnb. It's a great little place to call home for the next couple months. I was craving a burger and if you've watched our other videos, you know I love Faro Burger. I don't mind the snake eyes following. You can really use a fries right about now. This is a family-run place, and the family that runs it is super nice and they have amazing food. As much as I want a burger, I kind of want to get in on what they're serving over there to their own family. Because I know they cook good. <laughs> and they also have apartments, and they're really cute. You can find those on Airbnb, too. That's a really good It's not amber. My brain is saying amber. Milkshake. It's a really good milkshake. something really cool and swam down but didn't pay attention that there's a big coral formation there and scraped my whole foot and sliced it up. So it was bleeding pretty badly and we wrapped it up. Now we're going to see how bad it really is. Well that, well, that foot looks just fine. <laughs> Ow! Good, we got the bleeding stopped. Yeah, but it hurts like hell. <laughs> that sucker was gushing in the water. Wash it really good with soap. I'm a baby. Oh, gosh. Grab it. All right, rinse it off real good. Oh, Mother Hummer. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh God. Oh. <laughs> I, I take no joy in her pain, but she is. She's a really bad patient from past experience. You okay, baby? You all right? Back in. I saw the alcohol, but apparently the back of my brain said, oh, he's not really gonna put that on there. <laughs> uh, let's just apply some direct pressure, get it starched a little bit. Definitely not my best work, but the bleeding stopped for now. I'm gonna have to change it soon anyway, so. We're going to wait a little while, and that is really too close, and I have no makeup on. Well, I guess we're not gonna walk on the beach today, but we're still gonna go and have some fun. <laughs> What's the matter, how long? <laughs> Well, we'll see tonight when we take the band-aids off if it's closed or not.
Friday, our cleaning lady comes. So we go to... Donya Telly. We got addicted to the sope especial, the special sope. Which has absolutely everything on it, even an egg. So this has become our regular Friday thing. Yep. These are a Friday treat. They're really heavy. They're like they're once a week or so. They're fantastic. They're definitely a once a week top. All right, now we go. Now we're gonna drive around the island. We haven't done it since we've been back, so what the heck? Wow, that was a first. We've never seen flamingos on the island and we just saw one flying past. I saw a sign and I said, oh, really? There's no flamingos here. And we just saw one. He was beautiful. I think it's safe to say that sargassum has taken a toll on the beauty of the east side of Cozumel. Buddy Nacho's out there teaching surf lessons though, rock on. But don't get the wrong idea, it's still beautiful on the east side. We'll just wait out here until she's done cleaning the room and then it's nap time. This is what happens when it rains on an island. Oh, I can feel it on my feet. Wait out here until the room's being done clean. <laughs> Keep drinking this coffee. Leave, Leave the thumbs, thumbs up and subscribe. subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>